This video will walk you through creating an AES shipment for a product that doesn't require a license. Click Start Video to begin. Select the Export AES menu item. Click on the new icon to create a new AES transaction. Enter the broker reference number. Click the ellipsis button to select, select the bill to party. Click the open AES button. Click the no button. We are going to complete this AES from scratch. You can use this function in the future to copy previous AES info. The AES form is one main screen. Select if the parties are related or non-related. Select the ultimate. I not need to enter a party ID, so remove the type if it defaults. Click the edit button to select the forwarding agent. This is the person or party in the U.S. who is authorized by the U.S. PPI or Foreign Principal Party to perform the services required facilitating the export of merchandise out of the U.S. or the person named on the export license. Complete the party ID type and contact info. Select the date of exportation. Estimate the date if the actual date is unknown. Select the AES filing option. Click the Add button to add transportation reference or booking numbers. Select the point, state of origin, or enter the FTZ number. Submit destination, which is the SCAG or IATA code. If it's in bond or not, select the method of transportation. It contains hazardous materials. Enter the exporting porting carrier. For vessel shipments, this is the name of the vessel. For non-vessel, non-mail shipments, this is the name, name, name of the carrier. Select the port of order of unloading. Unlo 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 select, select the port of ex export. Port. Click add, add to, to, to add the commodities. Yes. Enter the shipping weight and select the unit of measure. Enter the value of the goods. Click the ellipsis bus 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 button to search for a for a tariff tariff number number number, or 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 enter the schedule B number. The unit of measure 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 will default from the tariff number or foreign origin. Select the export information code. This is the export type. If your shipment doesn't fall under any of the other codes, select all other exports. Enter the export license number. Enter NLR if no, li no license is required. License exception shin shin symbol. Click 
Click the OK button if your product doesn't require under any of any of the other sections to be, be, be completed. Select the file menu. Click Save. To mark, to mark the AES complete. Click the OK button. The system will tell you if you have any validation warnings, warnings or errors. Select the Tools slash Info menu. From this menu, you can complete airway bill, bill of lading, and dock receipt info forms. We are going to select the ocean bill of lading info menu menu on you item. From this screen, screen, you can complete any additional information that you would like to print, print on the bill of lading form. Click File, then Print or Print Preview, and select Ocean Bill of Lading. Here is the form we completed. We can print or email the form. Click the close button to return to the initial screen. Select the AES menu. Yes. The number starting with X is the confirmation number generated by AES when the shipment data has been accepted. Select the AES menu, then print or print preview. This is the printout of the shipper's export declaration, SED. Thank you for watching this video. We hope it was helpful for you. For further assistance, 